Hi, today I'm going to do a complete Raspberry Pi and Relay video. I'll show how to set up the Raspberry Pi to the Relay. I'll show some Python script examples, and then I'll show you some notes or example projects so you can bring this together. All of the software that I'll be showing will be available in the section below. And I'd like to create a little community with this video, so post any new code you write to the comments, and please help each other as you go. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to set these two up together. And to do that, well, the best thing to do is have on screen, ready to go, the layout diagram. So what I'm going to do is hook up the pins on the relay board to the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to use a female to female jumper cable set to do that. So let's just start at one of the easy ends here. Let's just move this out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up white as VCC. And then I'm just going to go, oh, just carefully, let's make sure you can see that there. I'm just going to go carefully down the board, plugging in these female to female jumper cables. Now, just so you can see the fine type, if it goes clear, here we go. You can see we have ground on the left in 1, in 2, in 3, in 4, in 5, in 6, in 7, in 8, and VCC on the right. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just connecting these wires up. Now the last one you can see it's just a little bit bent so I'm just going to do what I can to reach in there and I'll push the last three down together and make sure they're all in nice and tight. Great, that's nice and tidy. So now what I'm going to do is set it up with the Raspberry Pi board. So again I'm just going to uh, line this board up as it looks on the screen. So what that tells me is White is going to be my 5 volt connection, but I'm not going to put that one in first. Instead, I'm going to start with the first pin down, which is black. So what we'll do is we'll just run down this left-hand side here, and I can see that the second one down is GPIO pin 2, GPIO 3 is the next one, Then GPIO 4 after that. You can see the first three are in. Okay, after that there's a space, and then we're going to go GPIO 17, GPIO 27. GPIO 22, and then there's a space before I do GPIO 10 and GPIO 9. Let's just get that one in there correctly. And you can see that I still have, oh, I have done that incorrectly. Let's swap those two around. Okay, and let's just check. All right, so we have gray is leading to ground and white is leading to five volt VCC in. Okay, looking up again at the monitor, five volt is there and ground is the third pin down. All right. So that's my relay connected to my Raspberry Pi. I've already made a RaspBMC installation on this disk, and I've got a wireless USB dongle so that I can use my Raspberry Pi Model A. Now I've used a Model A in this example, and I'll show later on in the video why I use an A and not a Model B for this project. Specifically, it's because I'm using an eight-channel relay, 
And in order to power the eight-channel relay, I need enough power from the Model A, not the Model B. All right, in the next section, we'll go through some Python scripts. All right, so I've got my Raspberry Pi all connected up to my eight-channel relay. And here I've got my Mac. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just show you some example scripts uh, that I like to run to check that the uh, relay is working and some different types of programs that you can run. So I've got five different programs. And we'll run through each of the five. So the first one uh, is a testing script. And you can maybe you can see it's quite small here, but uh, as it counts up there, uh, it's doing the same here. So five, uh, six, of course it corresponds to the relays, eight, and then they'll all switch off and the program ends. I really like to run that script first because it lets me know that all of the relays are correctly attached, that the order that I've got them in is correct, and um, oh, basically I like to run that one, make sure everything's working. Okay, the second script is uh, just a little bit more dynamic. Really shows a, an example of the sort of thing that we can, uh, that we can do. Now this script is uh, on a loop, so it'll continue uh, forever. So I've got to end it uh, with Control C. All right, now let's get the uh, third script lined up here. Again, just a different pattern. You can explore the Python script so that you can see uh, everything that's involved. Again, this one's on a loop, so I'll need to use Control C to exit. Move on to the fourth script. So this one's counting down from nine, so this sequence will run nine times. Again, check the Python code. Count is five, four, three, two, one. And that script is finished running. I'm just going to number five here. Again, each of these different variations is a slight difference in the code. Uh, these are just some examples. Of course, you can code whatever you'd like or whatever pattern you need. Again, this is running on a loop, so I'm just going to terminate it with the uh, control C. Okay, so all of these scripts are available in the section below. Please uh, take them, use them, uh, have fun and modify them. If you do modify them, why don't you post them again in the section below, in the comment section below, so that everybody can share and see the different sorts of things that you've done. It would be really great if you guys could help troubleshoot each other's problems in the about in the comment section as well. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different stuff that can happen with these uh, relays, and I just well, it's best if other people help. Uh, if you know what you're doing, or if you've had any luck making a project based on these scripts, it would be great if you could help out the people below. Next up, I'm just going to show you what happens if we wire this up with a Raspberry Pi Model B. It's a little bit of an anomaly, so I just wanted to show you exactly how it works. I just wanted to show you quickly what happens when I do this with a Raspberry Pi Model B. You can see it's a Model B, there's the network, and the two ports there. I've got this connected over Wi-Fi. But when I run the program, which is uh, test lights, which is our half-second delay, you can see everything's working fine. You can hear the clicks which tell you that it's happening. But you'll see here, you can continue to hear the clicks. There's number eight's been activated on the board, and now the program's finished, it's just shut off. But on screen, via SSH, we're still stuck on number six, and there's a weird delay that's happened. I'm just gonna hold it here so you can see for a few more seconds.
see it's just taking its time. It's not actually doing anything. And again, the program is finished. Everything is fine. It's going to take another few seconds. There we go. So the program's finished running correctly, and I'm back to an SSH menu that I can use. But, uh, yeah. Weird. Anomaly. There must be some sort of power shortage that's happening when I'm using the Model B, which is why I've used the Model A for the demo, and why I recommend you use the Model A as well. Alright, well thanks for watching. I hope everybody gives me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can donate in the section below, and we're accepting Bitcoins. If you have any comments or questions, or would like to see any future videos, please post them in the comments below. Check the About section for all the source code and other relevant links that you might find useful for this video or any of the projects that you see here. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I have some pretty cool projects that I've undertaken with a relay. One last thing. Please, please, don't play with mains. You should only use mains if you know exactly what you're doing. Get an electrician in to check out your work. If they're not expensive. You can get one in for, say, a few dollars just to check over your work and make sure that everything's fine. Please don't play with mains power. It can kill. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.